Hello, welcome to the StarCraft 2 graphics video tutorial series I'm going to be making. This is my very first tutorial and in this tutorial we'll just cover up some basics on converting your files to the DDS format that StarCraft 2 uses. And along the way we'll also be learning how to use this texture as our own terrain in our maps. So I have my texture right here. It's nothing fancy or anything at all, it's just a random texture. So all I have to do right now is open it up with something like Photoshop or the GIMP to convert it. I'm going to be using obviously Photoshop in this tutorial. And literally all I have to do is save as and just pick DDS format as my format option and I'll just give it a random name. I literally just gave it random name. And this is something that you want to make sure is this way. The generate MIP maps option. Because you usually don't want, or at least it'll take too long to do it yourself. And this option just do it for you. And you have to make sure that you use the DXT3 format. You have plenty of other options in here, but I recommend you use the DXT3 format. Other formats just have proven to get a lot of errors for me and, and a lot of weird stuff. So we're just gonna press save and let Photoshop do its job. Now that's done, we can go to Galaxy. You can see that I'm already in this seal tile set. So all I want to do now is import the texture. We're going to the import manager. Oh, hold on, I'll go back. We're gonna go to the import manager or the function line key, and we're just gonna import texture in this wide open space. You can right click or Ctrl I to import a file and I have my textures right here already remember that my name was random name so I have to check this remember to uncheck the root folder because otherwise it will just import every texture that you have in here so just check your random name and just make sure that the path it's something that you want to remember so I'll just do assets textures custom the pattern doesn't doesn't really matter at all it's just just make it something that you will remember and something else that you also have to remember is to save this is very important because many people don't save and Afterwards, they're just like, hey, it doesn't work. Well, did you save? So, just remember to save. We will wait for Galaxy to do its job too, just like Photoshop. This takes way less. And now that's done, we're going to go to the models. And now we're going to go to the data editor. And we're going to open this terrain texture tab. In the data type, just select under terrain, just select terrain textures, and it will list all the textures that you have. We're using seal, so I'm going to scroll down to the X letter, and I'm going to be replacing, I don't know, seal grass. So we're going to go to the texture value, and we're going to modify the value. Click browse. And eventually it will pop up a screen with the texture collection that you have in Galaxy. Remember that my texture personally was in the asset texture and then it was in a custom so folder. So I just have to find my folder really.
or actually I'll just use the search feature was random. Random texture, and here it is in custom, random name. And you can see that my texture is right here, load up, ready to be to press OK. For some reason, I didn't maximize that. So I'm just gonna press OK. And now I wanna paint with my texture. So I just make sure to use the grass. I replace it and there you go you can see that we're actually painted with the texture we just imported the back and converted to DDS and I think that's pretty much it thank you for watching